here in uh, Snow Hill, uh, Maryland. Um, this is kind of part of our expansion up here into this uh, town. That's one of the things I got to be doing. Those two jacks got missed. Um, this is uh, kind of part of our expansion up here to Snow Hill. Uh, our real estate uh, development uh, division uh, purchased this building and uh, leasing it out to a government. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but um, using the uh, uh, this kind of our jumping off point. Um, usually when we move into a new town, we buy a building um, and then uh, lease it out and then maybe we'll carve a small room in the back out for us um, or uh, a basement or uh, kind of whatever. Use the outside of the building to set a cabinet. Um, but this, wow, this room's really nice. Dang. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but the uh, basement of this place is awesome. It's just the entire place is just one giant basement, but we might be using that. Um, actually, on the other side of this wall is another little store, but the reason I'm here, I didn't realize today was a holiday, uh, to be honest with you, so I'm kind of uh, kind of by myself, and nobody's looks like nobody's going to mess with me, so that's going to be pretty cool. But this tenant, um, I guess in their lease or in their handshake agreement, um, said that we were going to uh, terminate all this cat six um, usually what we do is we do the the, the wall plates um, and then leave that alone let the customer do whatever they want maybe they don't even want to use it so they they wouldn't even uh, terminate it at all um, looks like they are ready to rock here they got their Fortinet on a box they got their Comcast modem kind of sitting there now we do not have service in this town yet we're about 12 18 12 12 18 miles away um, from our closest uh, location with service so i'm gonna go ahead and uh mount that rack uh here on the wall i think i'm gonna be able to hit a stud pretty nicely which is pretty slick and then uh clean all this take all this down i think what i'm gonna do is um well maybe i can get a video rigged up so you guys can all see it but i'm gonna need my ladder for now um i think i'm gonna take all my blues and put bring down one side of the rack and all my whites bring down the other side of the rack um, and then I'm using one of these style patch panels. Um, they're, they're fine. There's nothing really wrong with them. Unless you're doing like hundreds, this is not the way to roll. Um, so I'll probably, uh, just bring 12 in. There's 22. So I'll bring 11 in on this side and 11 in on this side and it'll look pretty, pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up down to the ground where I can kind of work with it. And then, uh, maybe I can rig the, rig the ladder up, um, so that it's in a fashion that I can uh, kind of show you how I like to like to like to do this, which will probably be a little controversial because I don't. There's like four different ways to do one of these, and uh, there's just kind of just one way I like to do it. So, but let me get uh, let me get all prepped up here, and then we'll see what we can do with a further and further and along here. Okay, well, I. Uh, a couple of these are pretty short, so that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt, but um, i kind of show you what I like to do here. Um, I'm, I separated my colors for really no other reason but to look better. Um, and what I do is I, uh, I want my patch panel to go right here. And uh, what I do is I mount it backwards. So this guy flips right down to here. And I'm going to go through, I'm going to punch these guys down easy from the front of the rack. And then when I'm all done, I'm going to unscrew and I'm going to slide her right back in. Um, and uh, it works out pretty good. Um, but what I also like to do is when I do this um, is leave this U open um, for A, for future patch panels. But really more importantly, if you ever need to work on it, you ain't got to be all up in an awkward location. Um, I'm going to try to rig up. Um, oh. My air handler kind of stinks. Uh, I'm gonna rig up a way to maybe set the camera. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but uh, we'll give, we'll give it a shot here. Um, and I just got 22 to do real quick, and then uh, maybe we can go look at the uh, the new office after this if I got enough time. So yeah, I can't really figure out a 
a good way to put put the uh, camera and uh, I can't spend too much time messing around with it really but what I'll do is the more of these I get through um, you'll probably be able to see a second here um, and I'll show you kind of how this is going to lay out so one through um, one through ten is going to be uh, blue and then you're going to have um, uh, two two empties in the middle of the patch panel um, but that'll be it'll look good and uh, it'll be really easy if you need to add to uh, one or two on it and I'll grab the camera here in just a second and we can see what these are looking like It's not bad doing uh, doing 24 of these or 22. It's a pretty pretty good day. But when you've got hundreds of these, your freaking thumb hurts. Uh -huh. And then just finding my shortest ones and get making sure they get out of the way. And see how they're making that, that little bend right here? That's gonna make it so easy to put it back. So I just take my scissors, and just nick the jacket a little bit. Uh, oof, that one didn't go as easy. They make a little tool for that. Um, problem with that tool is it's so, it's so tiny you lose it. Just do this one more here, and then I can probably uh, not even worth uh, recording because I'm just uh, just talking to myself here. But let me grab this so you can see. And you can see that this loop is really going to come back and be sweet because it'll give us a little bit of slack. We'll push this back to the wall, um, and uh, it'll, look, it'll look pretty good. But I'll just kind of come in so I get this. Not the easiest holding a phone, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, and that's that. So I'll probably just be editing all this together, hopefully. And uh, I will give you a little tour when we're all done. I was going to put that Fortinet in the rack for this dude, but uh, he ain't going to he ain't gonna rack here, so he's going to have to do that himself. And uh, I did, I only got one stud, unfortunately. This one just didn't line up. It was so close. Um, but I put some pretty awesome anchors in, and then... That was how close the stud was, so I put that up there just in case this guy does put some batteries or something in here. But over here, these are like two inch long um, uh, screw uh, exterior screws, so that thing ain't, ain't going nowhere. Well, I kind of got in the, in the zone there and uh, kind of listening to some Grateful Dead and tried to kind of stop midway, but this is... Uh, Kind of the I don't fall here. Um, that's kind of the plan. Um, separated colors, and uh, it's good just only for aesthetics. I mean, ain't no reason for that. Um, and then out in the office, like the top jack is white, the bottom jack is blue. So it's um, there are more whites than blues, and I suspect the two extra are. Um, uh, access either access points. I think one's an access point. I think one's a TV. But uh, that's kind of uh, see my camera will focus. There we go. Now I separated them, so you can, you know, if you need to get in here and change one of these out, it's not the end of the world. 
Now, if you come in and you bundle that whole thing down from one side, it's up hand in the butt. Um, but you can pretty much just cut that zip tie, find your cable, you know, see, and you can see every single thing. So it's not like, ooh, there we go. There we go. It's not like um, the end of the world. Now, I guarantee there is going to be somebody that says this is not the right way of doing it. Um, and I, I, I agree and I disagree at the same time. You know, this is not a data center. This is uh, office. There's just going to be some emails going on. Um, you know, maybe a couple Zoom Zoom uh, calls. The, the proper proper way I would say to do this is to take each one, come off about three inches, and build your uh, your bundle of cables about a few few inches away. This is not a swinging rack. Um, you know, so this just kind of is what it is. I uh, can take these four screws out. I'm gonna roll this back and then I'll uh, we'll do a final final video and I'll put all this together hopefully into one one thing so it's coherent but interesting day is not not a normal day for me I don't uh, typically typically do this I do hope there is a trash can outside but there we go another fun one all right we're about ready to get out of here but uh it's kind of Kind of nice, just cut the ceiling tiles. Nice, uh, let Comcast come down through where we were with me. And uh, if you see how nicely this ended up when you uh, put it backwards right there and do the little flipper. Um, and I just have to remember that uh, number 11 and 12 when I write my email here to this guy are dead. So it's one through 10 blue, 13 through 24 white. And then out in the f offices, white up top, blue at the bottom. But pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, now I gotta f figure out. Uh, I guess today is a holiday, so the office. There was no. I went there, nobody was there. I just didn't know what the hell was going on. But. Uh, I'll let this guy know he's good to go. All right, well, everybody, thanks, uh, thanks for watching. First, uh, first little gig here of the new year.